and welcome back to this channel. Today I am doing another cleaning. No, I'm not. I'm doing a cooking video for you. Mind is going crazy because normally I do cleaning videos, but I'm trying to not do as many as possible. But I am cooking for you today. Today I am doing my amazing new favorite recipe of all time. I'm cooking for you guys my healthy alternative brownies. These are my black bean brownies and I have to give a little shout out to my little mummy friend here on YouTube. Her name is Taylor and I actually found this amazing recipe from her channel. I'm just going to leave her channel down below so you guys can go straight to her videos. Fun fact, we were actually pregnant um, together and our two little boys were due on the same day but they are actually 10 days apart now. I'm going to stop talking and stop waving my hands about because apparently I'm talking with my hands today. And not that I'm saying it's a bad thing, I just feel like I'm moving my hands about too much. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get straight into this video. Definitely give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and if you guys want to see more cooking videos from me. And I guess we will see you guys next time. So I hope you all enjoy. Here we go guys, we are making my black bean brownie. So first of all, we need to know the ingredients. So we need, obviously, black beans, some eggs, we need coconut oil or normal oil, we need some vanilla essence, some cocoa powder, we also need some white sugar, some baking powder, and some chopped chip. So first things first, you want to drain and clean your black beans because obviously they come in like gross juices and everything but you want to clean them as much as possible. Once they're drained and clean you want to pop them either into a blender or a food processor or you could actually do this with a fork and just mash up the black beans so it becomes a paste. Once the black beans are in my bowl, I'm actually going to mash them up a little bit just in case my blender missed a few. And then we're going to put in some eggs. So we're cracking in three eggs. These are full eggs, they're not just yolks or whites, they are full eggs. And then we're going to put three tablespoons of oil in. I am using coconut oil, you can use any other oil if you don't like coconut oil but obviously coconut oil is a lot better for you. And then our last ingredients for our wet combination is just half a teaspoon of vanilla essence or vanilla extract or whatever you have in your pantry just use that. I just had vanilla essence so that's what I just used and then you're just going to mix this together make sure that everything is combined and mixed well all throughout. Next is my dry ingredients. So first of all, I'm getting a quarter of a cup of coca um, and putting it obviously in my bowl. And then I am getting two thirds of sugar. Now this is actually a lot of sugar. You can also use honey if you prefer the honey taste, but I didn't have any honey in my house. So I just used the sugar. And then the last ingredients to go into here is half a teaspoon of baking powder. And you're just going to mix that through. Simple, easy as that. Just mix and mix and mix and mix. After all the ingredients are mixed, through each 
in each bowl. I can't even speak, guys. You don't have to want to combine them, obviously. So I'm just putting a little bit of dry in the mix, mixing it through and then putting more in. I just don't want to have like big clumps of the dry ingredients into our mixture because then it will just taste horrible if we find a big clump of cocoa powder. But I'm just going to mix it all through and then I'm going to put half a cup or is it a quarter cup, even just as many chocolate chips as you possibly want. Just put them all in there and get ready to put it onto a pan. So I'm just putting it on one of my pans that I have at home. I know it says on the recipe to get a pan that's eight by eight or nine by nine. I don't exactly know how big this pan is, but I just got it. I put on some baking powder and then I just mixed it around, made sure it all was on the edges. And then we whipped it in the oven. So this is at 180 degrees or I think it's 350 Fahrenheit. I don't actually really know Fahrenheit, but just go with 180 degrees and it is in there for 40 minutes and then voila you have perfect amazing black bean brownies Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel and I guess we'll see you all next time. Bye!